Hello, hello, and bonjour. Today we're going to do a talk about and learn about physics and collision mesh and colliders. Now, these are two both important key parts of the game. As we had from last time our scene where we tested our stuff, we're going to show you something. Alright, I got to roll a ball here. So you can download it or whatever like that. Or just drop it in. It's pretty big. I'm going to scale it. Five, five, five. And move it over here. I'm also going to make this bigger. Alright, so now I'm going to leave that alone. And move this slightly up. And now we are going to press play. Let's see what happens. Now, whoa, I must have had a second one over there. Uh, let me fix that. Okay, let me just delete this one real quick. That's in a minute. I'll show you what that's for. Delete. All right, let's try that again. All right, boop, the ball fell, and it didn't move. It just dropped down. Now, there's two things that's going on here. The physics is not in... It's not uh, properly configured, and the collision collider is working. Now, usually each game object has its own collider automatically, like this plane right here. It has its own box collider. We said it's a metal, that's part of physics, you know, it has the tan tangency and material of metal. But most importantly, that it's a box collider. It's usually you can highlight it, you see green around that highlight, meaning that's what the physics will hit to the player capsule over here see how there's like a green mesh net around it that's also your collider there and it's part of that but it surrounds the character and when it touches with another one you know it won't fall through this also is a circle it has its own if something doesn't ha have it you can go down here you can add component and then Box Phys Collider, Character Controller, Spear Collider, Mesh can Collider, Jesus, Train Collider, Wheel Collider, there's other such things as that. And Rigid Body, which you would give an object, usually like a ball or a person. Now, what we can do here to fix the problem, even if we gone up more, it wouldn't do anything. So we already talked about colliders and, you know, how it works like that and touches other objects. But now we're going to talk about like the parts of physics. Now the ball, we can change the material, help it bouncy. That would give it the tendency of a bouncy, like a bouncy ball. Another thing we would add is weight to it. In the rigid body, we add a hundred. Let's leave everything else. And so now it's bouncy, and that's a hundred. Now let's try to press, press play. Let's see what that will do. So we see it falls, and it bounces up. And down and up and down. At first, it didn't. That's because we added weight to it and we added a material bouncy. There's other materials such as ice, metal, rubber, and wood. Another example would be turning the ground to ice. Let's do that. Press play. And we should get some angular drag and some other drag in the character. You walk, slide, and things will slip. It doesn't seem to be working that well with the character. Let's see. So that's pretty much it. That's some physics into it, and that's about the colliders, and now you understand more about that. Things have their own mass and material and tangency and much like that. It's pretty basic. Or it's a mesh renderer. So now simple physics and stuff like that. And that's all I have to show you today. Alvidison, goodbye and au revoir. Thank you.